There is no solace for you. Instead of the dream of finding another living soul, you were greeted with the battered remains of all the others who sought refuge inside these halls. This doom now holds another, another faintly warm corpse, yet you still feel everything around you. After an eternity of darkness and agony, you awaken once more, somehow in a worse place than before. You don't know where you are, and neither do they. Hello everyone, I am your old pal, Living Dead, and won't you join me as we plunge further down into the darkness of Obsidian, a work in progress megawad for Vanilla Doom 2 by Snacksalotl. We are on map 12, Outer Plane, 95 monsters, and one secret, and a very interesting start setup here. Full disclosure, I play about two minutes of this map, blind, and did not realize that I wasn't recording. So, uh, I do know approximately, uh, five to ten percent of this map, maybe, if you go by monster count. Otherwise, I have not seen what's in front of me here. Um... Uh, this megawad, uh, is... Uh, a work in progress by Snacksalotl. She has just uploaded the uh, next eight levels, so constituting episode two, I think, up to like map 20 ish, uh, including the secret maps to Doom World as of like a week ago. And I'm finally getting around to playing this. And I've been waiting for a long time to have time to play it. Uh, I like to wait until I have more than just one or two maps to play if I'm going to play a megawad. Um. And it's been really hard because a lot of my friends who you are probably familiar with have also been playing this as she's been releasing the maps, kind of helping with some soft beta testing, um, honestly. And I have even been present during a few of these videos and have had to like refuse to turn my screen on uh, or, or, or watch the screen share like on Discord um, so that I don't get spoiled. Uh, this is as far as I got, and then I died, and then when I reloaded, I was I was in my quick save on the last map, and also, I wasn't recording anyway, so it didn't matter. So I know this is go- oh my god, this is gonna be a nasty, uh, this is gonna be a nasty map, isn't it? Um, we'll see how this goes. So, I don't really know what's in store for me. Um, I know that this wad is about to get hard as piss. So, uh, oh, fuck me. I did not expect this. I'm gonna grab this BFG. Get out of my way! Okay. Get some infighting going on. I think I'm just gonna try to save these cells. I really don't want to use them if I can help it. So, uh... I think... I think I have enough room here. Yeah. I think if I can just keep... kind of playing... Cat and mouse! Ooh. I think I can just avoid... um... most of these bad guys. I have enough bullets. Bullets are good for stun locking mechs. This is gonna be a bit tricky. I'm not using this BFG if I can help it. Honestly, this looked a little bit nastier than it ended up being. I mean, I've used most of my soul sphere, but you know, I did get an entire soul sphere. Um. There's some med kits in this room to help recover from mistakes. Green armor. And I'm gonna walk away with 280 cells for my BFG. Nice. Alright. I don't know if that was a good trade. Uh, to trade my, my stack for ammo. But, given how some of these fights are set up, I feel like I'm going to want the BFG over just about anything else. So, we'll let's go ahead and hit this switch here, and then... Probably a two-parter, right? Okay, this opens up. There's one secret in this map. I wonder what will... give me any clues about its existence. Very interesting look to this whole thing. Um, I feel like we're kind of falling apart into a bit of an abstract reality. The end of the last map, we kind of went very deep into the uh, 
under the surface of of the planet Earth, uh, and then we died, and now we're back here somehow. I don't really know. A bit abstract. We're in the outer plane, so maybe the fabric of reality is just. Oh my God! Is that a fucking icon of sin? I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. Well, I'm back here at least. Who woke up? Oh, this guy. Some new some new shotgunners are here. Hi guys. Okay. And they're just hanging out in this little hole here. So we have tons of earth textures. Um but we are Is it even safe to say that we are on earth right now? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe I'll go this way? Huh. I don't know. What is this? This reminds me of uh, that game Control by Remedy Studios, who made Max Payne. And uh, when you go through the threshold doors, whatever they're called, I can't remember, um, in the oldest house. It's kind of like the space between realities. Maybe that's what this means by being on the outer plane. Lots of chain gunners. What is this? Plutonia? No, it's not. There's not enough revenants in this map. Oh, fuck. I should not have picked those shells up. I would be not surprised if we don't see the super shotgun at all in this map, or at the very least until the end of it. Oh, fuck me. And of course, I'm just going to fall into the goddamn... Okay. I'm glad I'm not trying to do this shit saveless, man. This is way harder than Stickney. I'll tell you that much. Alright, I bought a lot of room here. I guess... I guess I have so many cells here, it's not like I even really needed the rock... or to... Uh, save my... my cells in that last fight. But you know what? I'm obstinate, so I guess I'm just gonna do things the hard way for no fucking reason. Another Kako? Come here, Kako. He's dead now. He's dead now. Well, pretty worse for wear, but whatever. You know, we'll make the best of it. A slime trail? With these maps slack and, uh... Uh, line by line detailing, you know, this is vanilla limit, so even a room like this probably threatens to just fucking gut punch the Viz planes. Uh, you know, it's by modern standards, quote unquote, whatever that even means anymore. This is not a particularly high detailed set of maps, and yet um, the mood just kind of drips on them like off of it, like a like a wet sponge. Um, if you're not creeped out, then you're probably not looking at the screen right now. So, I'm going to try to go back to the red teleporter where I let... Oh, this is not the same area. Oh, I have the super shotgun. Okay. Fuck. Oh, my God. I was gonna try to go pick the goddamn health up in the room where I got the BFG, and instead I just did something stupid. So... I almost feel like I did these rooms in the preferred order. Get the BFG first, then get the rocket launcher, then get the super shotgun. Um... Probably the best way to do that. Cool set of rooms though, I like- I really like these little mini arenas and how crazy all this is. So, that is probably raising. I bet I, I raised something up four times and now it's accessible, is my guess. Um, I guess now that I have all these rockets, I can try to kill some of these spiders. And I have the super shotgun, so I'm not that defenseless up close either. It'd be nice if I had a plasma gun, but, you know. We're not grocery shopping, right? This isn't a... A wish list. I'm just checking off one by one. When you play a map in Obsidian, you should count your blessings if you get half as much as you actually need in terms of resources. That's not entirely true. This is not like a resource starvation map set. Um, 
but Snacks a lot of works very hard to make sure you feel um, relief when you find things, when you find health a lot of times, or when you find the super shotgun finally, when you find ammo in some maps. So uh, the red way is the imp way. Okay, so I, I must be going maybe to like a yellow. Uh, I, I wasn't paying attention to the banner colors and now I see why they're lit up. I noticed that detail earlier. So this is probably... Okay, so blue was the caco room, I think. Yellow, red is the imp room and black is the... Yeah, here's where a bunch of the health is that I left behind that I would like to take now. Okay, now I can leave. I'm topped up. I've got two keys. And I don't know what I'm doing next. I love that space in between worlds kind of thing going on here. It'd be nice if these damn cac or, uh, spiders weren't such a pain in the ass to hit with the rocket launcher. Come here, buddy. Alright. Now I have a little bit more leeway to roam around and explore. Secret. Over here. It is behind this. Aha! Just fucking hanging out here. Not too hard to find. But I walked past it multiple times. Probably hard to, you know, it's hard to locate under duress. And, uh... Snaxolotl isn't a complete sadist when it comes to mapping. I think ultimately she's invested in the player having fun over fully leaning into like an arbitrary artistic vision that's just, you know, compromises itself. What am I doing here? I'm a little lost. I don't really want to waste any more rockets. I don't remember if I left any behind in that other room. I think I picked everything up. The caco room where I got the rocket launcher. What the hell? Where'd you go, buddy? Welcome to your new nightmare. Um. Oh, right. Spider Mastermind. Duh. Well, I have a BFG, so I'm not really afraid of what she's going to do. Um, I do want to go into the yellow door, which was this way. Not too tough to navigate this map, but the, the sort of sp uh, hub and spoke layout definitely makes it so you kind of can get turned around a little bit. And what do we do here? Am I raising a bridge? I have a feeling I'm like raising... Oh, I'm crushing the spider demon. Oh, I don't even get to use my BFG. I barely even used it for anything. Ah, uh, fuck it, whatever. Who cares? Here you go, buddy. I'll speed this along for you. Put that pathetic spider mastermind out of her misery. All right. Uh-oh. We're going into the bowels of hell. I went into the icon of Sin's face. I want to see what's on his mind. If I'm lucky, it'll be three rockets. All right, map 13, prophetic vision, 110 monsters and three secrets. Yeah, um, I uh, had to abruptly uh, cut that last video off. So, um, oh, I have a berserk. Very interesting. And yeah, I, uh, I'm not, this is not a continuous video. It's probably obvious there's a hard cut there. Just suddenly cuts to this. Uh, it's like two hours later and I have not played Doom in the interim, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, map 13, prophetic vision. That last one was good. This one, I'm kind of afraid of. There's no monsters. This is the, um, the city map. Sandy Peterson's downtown map. Oh. And Icon of Sin wakes up. Right. Right. Is that just a trick? I just get tricked by that, or did I need to hit that switch for some reason? I don't know. I guess we will find out. And here's monsters. So, monsters are spawning in on this map the whole time. Uh, 
I think my approach to this is going to be if I find a secret, great, and if I don't, then that's just the way she goes. And I'm dead. Right. Okay. This is going to be a fun little fun house fucking fuck. Okay. How do you get up these stairs? Is that even possible? I do want to get the weapons, but I might be in trouble. I'm stuck. You can't punch. You can't punch an arachnatron. <laughs> you can't punch an arachnatron. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I don't have any clue what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna just save. Grab the shotgun shells. I'm just gonna run. He can't. He can't follow me. And if he can, who cares? I'm just not gonna shoot. As long as I don't shoot, the icon of sin won't wake up. The spider... The spider is awake. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't realize I had that little health. Okay, this is a... Uh, this is pretty crazy. Grab this, hit that. Alright. Uh, it's this way. That's right. Okay. Lost souls, maybe, I'll prioritize. Fuck. I have no clue what my actual objective is in this map. And... I will run out of ammo. Probably sooner rather than later. I'm gonna save. I'm also kind of nervous to- so here's the exit, I need to look for the yellow key. Um, I'm kind of nervous to save because this feels like a map that you could kind of break by accident. Just fire one of these. Okay, you guys in fight. Oops. Oh god. The sound of the Icon of Sin spawning monsters in every fucking two seconds or whatever is nerve-wracking. Alright, getting these doors open could be good. Holy shit, this map is insane! Ah. <laughs> That's some bullshit! Okay. Oh my god, okay. That's good, I came back this way. I need to remember to grab these rockets. I'll hit this switch. And then maybe I just need to... Okay, so it opens some pathways. That's not how that works. God, as if the monsters spawning in wasn't enough. Oh, I need a fucking plasma gun so bad. Oh, really? Ugh. I have no clue <laughs> what I'm supposed to be doing. That is low. That's doing something. Let's open these doors. No, it doesn't. Uh, oh, cool. This is still here. Whoops. What did I just do? There we go. I don't know if I should have saved there or not, but it is what it is. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, 
Oh my god. Oh, this is feeling like a bit of a slog. All this, like just everything that's just blocking all the paths, I just... Okay, I don't need to actually go through there. I have done something to let the cyber demon come up. Blue key acquired. Okay. Ugh, for real, dude? Okay. Well. All the monsters are here. I don't need to use the rocket launchers. I just don't like maps like this at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it straight. I, fuck. I'm not. I'm not a fan of this type of stuff. I think, to some degree, with Doom, I like to uh, be able to take my time a little bit more. I'm making some crazy decisions. I cannot focus on what I'm doing. Go in the corner to pick up a stim pack. Be nice if the cyber demon would fucking follow me around to just like kill all the monsters. I almost feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna make a map where monsters like spawn in forever, uh, I would really hope that there's more health just kind of incidentally lying around. I just like can't go pick anything up because there's just so many guys just constantly hanging out. There's two fucking spiders, and I have no idea if I need to go this way or not, because I cannot- I cannot stop to read this map. There is a red door. I gotta find all three fucking keys. Alright. I hope I can save. For fuck's sake, dude! Okay, well this opens. Anything? God damn! What is the point in this area? Why did I come in here? I just wasted a bunch of supplies for no reason! Fuck! Ugh! I came up here, I hit that switch. Okay. I don't need that. Give me a berserk or something. God damn. Shit is fucked. I feel like my safety from the cyber demon is only temporary. And hopefully monsters can't like spawn around here or something. Okay, a little bit of a refret. Fuck's sake, every time I hit the... I try to go to save. Red key. Red key was back over near where the cyber demon spawned. Okay. Fuck. Alright, so I go back through here. I go up. Where was it? Where was it? Here it is. This way. It. I can now get to the exit. Um, it's back this way. So, oh, it's fucking locked. Of course it is. Um, yeah, so it seems like it becomes more or less of a circuit. Um, okay. Uh, why is the exit now locked? As if I had enough things to worry about to figure out how to get into this place. There must be a long way around. I guess that's probably back the way that I came. Would make sense. So if I have to go back through this way... And just go past this shit. Oh! What the fuck?
Okay. Oops, did I go the wrong way again? Oh. I thought I saw that earlier. Not that I want or need any of this stuff. It'd be better if it was health. Alright. The cyber demon needs to get out of the... Move, idiot. He needs to get out of this area. Come on, dude. You're literally in the way, you fucking bastard! Alright. A fucking mank, dude, for real. Ugh. Like, how- why won't he leave? Just get out of here, dude. Come this way. Just come this way. Jesus. Okay. And the exit. Oh, fuck that map. Fuck that map. Very fun idea, I guess. I admire the concept and even the um, the quality of the execution. That is takes a little bit of skill to pull something off like that, but I am not a fan of that map in any way. I don't like RNG heavy endeavors. Um, things like that. I... I don't know, just constantly having monsters in Doom spawn in stresses me out and don't usually like it all that much, but I guess it wasn't terrible. I mean, it's all a matter of opinion. Um, and I think I'm just the kind of person who kind of knows what I like in that situation, so that's all I'll say about that. All right, but we are on map 14 now, Oasis. Well, that sounds promising. I want to go to an Oasis. I don't think I have seen any sign of what this map is going to be like. I did I did see, I think, portions of Sandwich playing that last map, although not enough to really understand what was going on ahead of time, apparently. Uh, I didn't see map 12. I have not really... I don't think I've seen this map. I love this skybox. Okay. I just want to shoot some stuff. Okay. Wait, where is that at? Oh! I did not realize. Oh, cool. You can just get it. Great stuff. So this is... Oh, shit. This is the... It's gonna be a bit of a riff on Doom 2 map 14. What is that one called? I mean, I know everybody knows it. It's like the only... It's the only American McGee map that everybody likes. Is that... Is that true? It's American McGee's map? I can't remember. Um... Are there specters? Uh-huh. Just in my last vid uh, video about Man With Guns map, I was like, oh, it's so great to have specters be hard to see. It makes the game more interesting. And in this wad, I'm just like, God, I <laughs> gets on my nerves so bad. <laughs> like, that last map, that guy just kind of totally wrecked me. All right. Uh, I like how the specter and the blue armor are just like out in the open because isn't it in map 14 of doom 2 they're like in a, a secret wall or something uh just trying to find where i can get a good angle i guess i have okay i'm gonna use it this for that oh you know Lone, lone Revenants are actually kind of hard to hit by themselves up on a, on a ledge. It's much easier when there's two of them together. Or two or more, I should say. 
It's not like two exclusively is easy, and then once it's three, it's like hard again. Oh, there's a fucking... Is there an arch file up there? I thought I heard a monster being de-jibbed. I thought I heard some heard some de-jibbing. I can't tell. De-jibbing, is that another song in Doom 2? Replaces de-running. De-jibbing. No, that's so fucking dumb. Why did I say that out loud? All right. Um, I like the, the, the flow of this map a lot more. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot of action in it so far, but I can actually get a sense of what the hell's going on. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, that's just, okay, that's just the way it's shaped. For one second, it looked like a weird graphical glitch. Why is there a bookshelf just in the middle of the water? Explain that one to me. Is it a sign? Is it a hint? Okay. I don't know. And we may never know. Good texturing on this building. I have the chain gun. Let's do a little chain gunning. Yeah, there is an arch file. I just heard him. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Red keys on the other side. Oh, it's right here. It's just like chilling. Hey, red key. It's free. It didn't cost us anything this time. I want to hunt down that arch file. Is he up on here? Is he behind like a unpenetrable barrier of some kind? Kind of like plutonium map one? Is he just going to keep resurrecting the revenant up here? This Revan gonna shoot only homing rockets at me? It's an oasis because there's books in it, and if I am lost in a desert, dying of thirst, not only do I want to find water, I also want to find books, because I'm also bored if I'm wandering around in the desert. Oh. Fucking good on me for having the rocket launcher pre-selected. Holy shit. Talk about luck of the draw. God, I hate Lost Souls. I think Lost Souls have easily got to be my least favorite enemy in, in Doom. So if I kill any of these guys, I assume that Revenant's going to resurrect them. Or, uh, Archfile, right? There is one, isn't there? Damn. That didn't work. How do I get this door open? Probably this switch here. It stands to reason. Uh, oof. No! I've used most of my soul sphere up to this point. I've done pretty good. That blue armor helped a lot. Okay. Of course, there's just a lost soul hanging out. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Since I can't apparently hit those chain gunners. Because they're 20 miles away. Alright. Um. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, I forgot I picked up the plasma gun. This should get him. There we go. Alright. Um, I feel like I must be almost done with this map. I gotta be getting pretty close to the end. Okay. Once again, no super shotgun. Super shotgun is like almost a rarity sometimes in these obsession maps so far. Um, kind of bridges the gap between Doom and Doom 2 a bit. The way that the fights are set up. Most, most maps barely have over 100 monsters even. So very effective use of danger in that way. What is this? I just want to kind of interested in the shape of this area. It's kind of cool looking. Ooh, there we go. Fantastic. Okay. Now I'm here. I can at least kill these guys. And you know, I could probably just beat the map without doing that, but it's kind of the principle of the of the matter at this point.
Any cool cyber demons to fight here at the end? Any cool cyber demons to chase me around? I don't know. Oh boy! Only spider demons. Rude. Oh! 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 Ha ha! I've done it. Oasis completed! UV maxed it. UV max plused it. 101% kills instead of just 100%. That was fantastic. Okay. Let's debrief. Map 12, really liked it. Map 13, totally hated it. Map 14, really liked it. Doing pretty good so far. Obsidian has been an absolute blast. It is a dark, uh, a dark journey through misery and uh, decay and chaos and is very fun. The mood is is outstanding, fantastic. I can't say enough nice things about this, except for map 13, uh, which I will never play again. Probably, maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the rest of these, hopefully in the next few days. We'll see. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, I hope you take care.